They're simply beautiful. <laughs> Just the other day, someone told me my wings remind them of the first snow of winter. Who said that? Your mom? Actually, yes. <laughs> But no one's got wings quite like our friend Caroline. I'm a trendsetter. Hmm. Gray is the new nothing. You know, back in the day, there were tons of dark bee moths. They even outnumbered the light winged ones. Back in what day? More dark winged than light winged moths? Seems laughable. Why don't more moths have gray wings like me? I bet Mosa can help. Why does it bother you? It's not bad to be different. I've always liked my dark wings. I just don't know why there are so few other moths that look like me. I've heard the story of my great, 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 great grandfather Marvin. He always said that back in his day, there were tons of moths with the same dark wings as me. But I just don't get it. Where'd they all go? Hmm. When was your great, great, great. When was your ancestor Marvin around? Many generations ago. 1890. Mind if I borrow that? We're gonna need to go straight to the source to solve this mystery. Wait, did we just travel through time? Don't ask questions. Cool! <coughs> Dallas, you're on Moth Patrol. While Billy and I try to find Marvin, snap photos of all the moths you can find. Then count them up. Find out the number of dark wing moths and the number of light wing moths. On it, boss. Thanks. Excuse me, has anyone seen this moth? I'm looking for a moth named Marvin. Look, I only follow people inside their homes if the light outside the doorway is on. Does that make me a criminal? Yeah, yeah, no big deal. Marvin, I'm so glad it's you. <coughs> oh, what is up with this horrible air? It's pollution. We're in the Industrial Revolution. The factories are hard at work making textiles, chemicals, and all kinds of things. But all the factories use coal for power, and coal creates pollution. I love coal! Ah. Whoops! Sorry, Marvin. Got something on your face, Billy. Not to worry. Only a bit of soot from the tree bark. All this pollution killed the white lichen on the tree and turned the bark a little bit darker. The bark is nearly the same color as your wings. Marvin, is it true that there are more dark winged moths than light winged moths? Hmm, well, let me think. I hardly know any light winged moths. I suppose there's Gertrude, Penelope, Floyd, uh, Alvin, Shirley. Yeah, only about five of them. Looks like there are six light moths in this area and 55 dark moths. Definitely more dark winged moths from my count. That certainly makes sense. Why do you suppose there are so few? What? <clears throat> well, take Alvin and Shirley off the guest list. Oh my gosh, that robin only took the white moths. Having dark wings is a trait that helps you survive because it helps you hide or camouflage into the bark. It's definitely an advantage. Your dark wings are an advantageous trait. I'd love to talk, but as a moth, I have two things on my mind. Living and breeding. I'm alive. Now I need to find a mate and have a baby. If you'll excuse me. A love story. Wait, which moth are you mating with? Ahem, that's private. <laughs> no, I mean, if there are more dark winged moths in this environment, then isn't it most likely that you'll mate with a dark winged moth? Likely, yes. This feels like too much information. Work with me. I think I'm on to something. Not only does Marvin have this advantageous trait of dark wings, but he's likely gonna mate with someone with dark wings. And your point? That means the number of dark winged moths will increase in the next generation. What? I get it. She's saying, When you got a trait that helps keep you alive, more of these individuals survive. So when it comes time to find a mate, time to procreate, it's that advantageous trait that's spread through the population over generations. It's called an adaptation. Well said. 
So you're saying that the number of light-wing moths will decrease in the next generation simply because there are fewer light-wing moths to mate with? I think so. Let's fast forward 70 years to find out. Very well. I must be off. I'm late for my date. Wish me luck. So Darkwing's advantageous trait increases the population, right? Done. And you were right. I found way more Darkwing moths than Lightwing moths. But that doesn't make any sense, because in 2015, there are more Lightwing moths than Dark ones. That's what I can't figure out. Let's head back to 2015. <sighs> I can breathe again. I can see through my lens again. Dulles, play back that song. I want to show Caroline. When you got a trait that helps keep you alive, more of these individuals survive. So when it comes time to find a mate, time to procreate, it's that advantageous trait that spreads with population over generations. It's called an adaptation. Impressive performance. And it confirms my idea. You were right. There were more gray wing moths in Marvin's day, and I think I know why. I was hoping to find out why there were so many then, but so few now. What is that? A piece of tree bark that I must have brought back from the 1890s by accident. Uh, I mean, on purpose. The bark is so... dark. Which made the dark wings advantageous back in the day, but look at this tree bark now. The air is clear, and the bark isn't covered in soot. Which means that the dark wings aren't advantageous now. Caroline, watch out! Um, Mosa, you can get off me now. Oh, sorry, but I think I know why there are so many light wing moths and so few dark wing moths now. It has to do with what's advantageous.